Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your singles reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for singles. Okay. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides for you. It will not be like anybody else's reading. We're going to get one of these. I'm going to shuffle until either one falls out or I decide to pick it. And then we're going to see what's on the bottom. And that's going to be your two overall energies. And then we're going to use this deck right here. Leo, here we go. What do we have for Leo? That's a couple. What do we have for Leo? Singles. What message do these singles need to hear? If you're looking for a pretty reading, you probably shouldn't watch. <laughs> I mean, it may or may not be. I, I'm not that reader that is going to pretty it up for anybody. Ooh, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I mean, this is what's happening now. You may be in a state of manifesting, a state of calling in your soulmate. It's called visualization, manif manifestation. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This tells me that you have the power to call in your soulmate. This is a time of manifesting. Okay, maybe, maybe it's going to come real soon. Maybe you've been doing this for a while. Let's see what, what else we get. Now we're going to see what's on the bottom. This situation is calling for you to have faith, trust, believe. You have to believe in divine timing. And I know that there's a lot of people that don't. They want to rush. They don't care about the universe's time. They want it now. There's a reason. There's a purpose. Believe in the divine. Believe in divine timing. Believe that when it when it is meant to come, it will come. Maybe you got some work to do first. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know, maybe you got somebody coming into your life that you called in and and you don't trust, you don't believe it. That could be the case. This tells me that you've already met this person. You've already met this person. That means you already know this person. It doesn't mean that it's your ex. See, that's a not another big, huge misconception. And people have this one-tracked mind. They think it's somebody that they dated before. I don't think that. This card typically means to me that you have met this person. You know this person, yes. You know this person. Or, that can mean that, you know, you're going to feel very familiar. You've met this person in a past life. That can also mean that. It means that you are going to be very familiar with this person. You're going to, it's going to, if you don't know them, you're going to feel like you do. What do we got for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Ooh, Queen of Cups. This is this is nurturing. This is tender, loving care. This is love. Somebody with a really big heart. Starting fresh, starting over, letting go of the baggage of the past. This is an exciting time. It's, it is very exciting. This is a card of freedom as well. A free-spirited soul messages communication this is sadness this is grieving crying over a loss you have an opportunity here to start over to be loved to give love this is the rods of love as well so it looks like there's love around you you have an opportunity for a fresh start here, but this is crying over a loss, not realizing, that's why you got to have trust, not realizing that you have an opportunity here. Oh, we got two. Yeah, this is, this is not missing, this is missing an opportunity, not seeing an opportunity.
this is a uh, being left behind no longer being left behind coming out of the darkness the end of a difficult situation moving in a new direction Eight of Cups with that Five of Cups. Eight of Swords. There's an obstacle in the way. There's an obstacle in the way of your happiness, and and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to remove it. Okay. It, it feels as though somebody's been lying to themselves. Okay, that's what this is. This is a lies, and this is lies. Eight of Swords reverse is lies. Somebody's been lying to themselves, reluctant to move on from something that hurt them. There's some sort of opportunity that may be lost or could be lost because of deception. And this is like self-deception. It's like th somebody may be using their circumstances as a excuse, okay? Because this is a victim of circumstance, as an excuse, right? To not accept a love opportunity. It's almost like fear of being heartbroken, fear of... Um, being ghosted fear of getting hurt there's definitely a lot of of thinking going on here there's a lot of um there's a need to find that force within you to transform to use your power effectively to manifest okay to call in your soulmate i mean that's kind of opposite than this one the magician reverse we have somebody here that has been you know deceived Therefore, it feels like you are guarding your heart. I feel like you have a really big heart here, Leo. And I feel like you probably have an opportunity to be loved or, you know, start fresh with somebody. But I feel like you are not trusting. I feel as though you need to completely walk away from something that you've been trapped in, you've been tied to. You need to completely, completely, completely walk away. And I think that's a really big problem for you. I think you guys keep threads. You know, you have a hard time severing that last tie. I feel as though, you know, you have messages coming in. You probably are receiving communication from somebody that wants you to move towards them. They want you to give them a chance. But I feel as though, you know, your, 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 your circumstances are an issue. And that's kind of like an excuse because this is a victim of circumstances. Um, you need to walk away from that mentality. This is mentality. This is mentality that the, the past circumstances restrict you in some way. I feel as though you're not willing to shed the magician reverse. You have to be willing to shed something to receive the love that you deserve. Anyway, Leo, I feel as though you have an opportunity for a fresh start here. Um, you may be leaving some things behind, the baggage behind that kept you trapped i think that might that's where you are right now you may be in the process of taking that step you you're probably working on healing loving yourself self-love acting out of self-love you need to use your powers to manifest right now and you may not be using them to your fullest ability i think that you are probably crying you may be grieving over a loss you know and maybe you need to heal a little bit maybe you're moving maybe you've just moved or you're about to move um, getting to that better place. Um, there's a there's a feeling of despair here. There's a feeling of a loss of hope. If you you know your thoughts truly do become things, and this, here we have this one that's reversed. If you if you lose hope, if you you know there's lack of faith, lack of belief. If you don't believe that dreams can come true, then you know we got a problem here. That's what you manifest. Um, you ha you're going to be receiving a message from somebody or good news from somebody that is very well suited for you. It could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be an Aquarius. I don't know. You, you could, or a Gemini. It could be, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be an Aries, whatever. You have an opportunity that could, that could really blossom into something. It could grow into something. I think that somebody is very attracted to you. This person may be a little bit younger than you. This person is a very good suitor for you. This person um, is excited. This person um, can lead you down a new path. I feel like you're going to receive, you know, maybe this person um, 
send you a message, you know, that really excites you and you need to take a risk, okay? I would just urge you to take this risk because it could lead to something, you know, very heartfelt, very beautiful. But you're going to have to stop crying over a loss. You're going to have to open yourself up. You're really going to have to move on from something that was emotionally discontent and that you know when you get involved with somebody you have to let go of the baggage of the past that means starting completely fresh you can't you can't have that last thread you can't have that last thread this is starting completely over from zero um so i feel like you are going to be messaging with somebody texting with somebody or communicating with somebody that you know really has a lot in common with you this person you know is very attracted and they can probably see they probably see that you're discontent and that you have a really big heart but they see that you're you're not giving them a chance or they probably feel like you won't give them a chance because you haven't um, found that force within you to break free from something completely you haven't you haven't so you're going to receive a message from somebody. It's good news. They could invite you somewhere. This is like an invitation. They could invite you somewhere. But uh, it's almost like you're not ready to take action. You're not. You you're not ready to move forward. Yes, it's like you're blocking. It's like you're blocking your heart. You're not opening your heart. You're resisting. You're avoiding. You may be avoiding letting anybody in. This is avoidance. This is denial as well. We have people that deny that they have any ownership in their future. You know, this is denial. I'm not saying that you, that's what you're doing, but this is denial. This is avoidance. This is thoughts as well. Restricting yourself from moving forward. And this could have to, and this could be that victim mentality. It could be because of children. Children do play a part here. They do. There's, there's a double um, loyalty here. It's like on one hand, you've got to be loyal to the children, but on the other hand, you want something else. I don't know if it is children, but there's double loyalty here. Duality. I feel as though you probably have somebody that is very well suited for you, that you have a lot of common with, but it's like you're blocking this opportunity, this love opportunity. Avoiding it because of, of fear, right? Of, of disbelief, I, no faith, lack of faith. That's why this says you've got to have faith. This is an exciting opportunity to start fresh. My advice is to take it. Stop allowing your own mental prison, your own fears to hold you back. Stop deceiving yourself. You have a big heart and you deserve to be loved. Somebody's coming in very, very quickly. Very quickly. It could be a, a, an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be an air sign. This is fast moving instantly. This could be, there could have been an instant connection or an instant attraction. So there could be an instant attraction or something, but I, I feel as though something is coming in very, very quickly. Um, you don't see it coming or it has come in. It has come in, but the fear of the unknown, the fear of the unknown has, has maybe has caused you to not accept, you know, to not accept, to not see, you know, to, to not allow. Anyhow, I feel like you really need to have trust. You need to have confidence. You need to, maybe you need to quickly, you know, face your fears. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to face your fears and face the unknown because... I feel like something has been revealed or it is about to be revealed that is going to need you to take action. It's like you do need to take action here. And I think that there's, you know, this has been fears. There's been fears of unblocking, fears of letting somebody in. 
So I, I feel like you have a sudden arrival or you had a sudden arrival and you're going to need to really face your fears. I mean, yeah, you, you can't see, you can't, you can't, you won't be able to see, you won't know, you won't know. And you, you're going to have to not let the circumstances of your past or whatever it is that you are still tied to hinder you from this new beginning. I feel like you have a, a new beginning here that is waiting for you to accept it. But you're not truly accepting it. You're blocking it. You're blocking it and it does have to do with fear, lack of faith, lack of trust. Everything happens for a reason. So anyway, Leo, I feel like you're going to be receiving messages from somebody that is very attracted to you. Somebody that is very excited about you. They want you to give them a chance. This person is very well suited for you. Um, this person really sees your big heart. And this one could be the one. This could be the one. Maybe you called this person in through your prayers. Maybe this is the one that you have been praying for. But now they, they bring you your dream. They, they fulfill your wish and you block it. You don't take it. Why? Anyhow, I feel like there is something that is coming very quickly or it has arrived already very, very, very quickly. This is going to be suddenly. Okay, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to be suddenly. Um, or it did happen suddenly. Maybe this was a like an attraction that happened out of the blue. And now there's fear. There's fear of the unknown. Um, there's definitely some sort of sadness about moving on from something. I think it may have to do with children. Because I think that there's some ties that need to be severed. So that you can start without the baggage. There's no baggage here with the fool. None. So anyway, you have something that is coming very, very quickly. Very quickly. This is exciting and you should take this risk. And that's my advice. Good luck.